Okay, hi guys. Um, wanted to do a quick video about what just happened. Uh, I was just getting off from work, cafe work. That's why I'm wearing this. And I don't know if it's it's not very stylish, but this scarf protecting a little bit of my hair, and my hair is very uh, tightly in a bun or whatever over there. That's why I'm looking like this. I just came off the work and uh, of a cafe that is owned by a Christian lady uh, here in Hyvinka. And uh, right when I got out of the building uh, where my cafe, where the cafe where I'm working is, uh, is uh, or practicing, where I'm pra practicing uh, is located, Right outside that building, there is a market square, and um, I saw that the further, a little bit further away, when I was coming down to this this square, started to cross it, I uh, noticed that there was a um, uh, a tent and people gathered there. There were seats, and then there was someone speaking something, and then I realized they started to speak about Jesus. I was wondering, okay, are they preaching the gospel here? Or what are they doing here? And uh, it seemed like like okay, these guys are talking about uh, about Jesus, and then the, this girl who was preaching, uh, talking in the microphone, she was kind of like yo yo yeah, this is like your best life. You can have the best life right now with with Jesus Christ and and come to Jesus and and have you done your decision to follow Him with all your heart and stuff like that. But I didn't really f hear the gospel of why Jesus died, uh, repentance, I didn't hear these. I was filming it and I might put, put a small video about it in, after this that I'm, I've been speaking. But I was trying to discern who are these people. I was like, are they Pentecostal? What are these guys? Who are these? And then while she was speaking, I was like, this, I was like, um, I'm not really hearing the gospel about Jesus dying on the cross and and, uh, and he, about the atoning blood of uh, sacrifice of Jesus Christ and that he, you know, <laughs> resurrected from the dead if you believe this and he and that he appeared to 500 people um, if you believe this in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is your Lord, is Lord, and you will be saved and. I didn't hear all of this. Sorry for me coughing. Um, I really didn't hear that. I was just hearing, this is you can have your best life now with Jesus Christ if you come to him. And I was like, hmm, that doesn't sound like the exact gospel. I was like wondering. I was wanting to listen and, and I filmed it to discern. And, um, and then all of a sudden at some point, I don't remember what she was speaking about exactly, something to go into a Bible school, that she had been going to Bible school and talking about great teachers and great teachers in his church and stuff like that. And then he and then she um, uh, mentioned something about uh, Rodney Howard Brown. And then I kind of guessed that this is River Helsinki, R R River Church. And I was like, this is not good. And... But I wanted to make sure, um, probably, so that I would speak to someone. Uh, but um, and then I uh, stopped filming, and then right after I had stopped filming, a young lady, um, foreigner uh, with a darker complexion, came to me, and um, uh, and uh, uh, we spoke a little while, and I and I found out that she's uh, from Pakistan. Uh, originally Pakistani lady and uh, she had been born to a Christian family or a Catholic family family and uh, something like that and uh, she had like a kind of a Christian background so she wasn't a Muslim or some other religious group which I was expecting uh, originally but um, and then I was kind of I was wondering in my heart, am I supposed to tell her about the the manifestations and things like that? I like warn her, and and then I, I was just chatting a little bit about the school, the um, uh, like a little bit personal things with her about her coming to Finland and stuff. And then I decided that I'm gonna tell her that the um, about the Kundalini spirit that is in the in the church and that the how uh, Rodney Howard Brown in the in the Toronto. Uh, revival, how they had been acting over there, and uh, and the the Kundalini spirit, um, uh, that 
comes from India or something like that. Actually, it's a, like Kundalini um, yoga spirit, whatever. It acts exactly the same way. And I said to her, please, uh, if you if you would check it out, I would really cons uh, you know uh, suggest it uh, to her and. Uh, and she said that she really loves Jesus and she really wants to follow him uh, all of his all of her heart and uh, and so um and i really do hope that she will check it out she was uh, saying kind of, she was kind of like she was kind of taking it in she was listening kind of like she wasn't just oh oh i ain't gonna because some people can start to do who are who are who don't love jesus and don't want to follow from full heart so i th i felt like when she was coming at me walking at me that maybe this is the person i'm supposed to talk to right here uh and i didn't want to go starting preaching against oh you awful people what are you doing in your you're not preaching the gospel there was people like they when they were preaching there were people like raising their hands when give their life to, life to jesus and then they went in in front uh they had the altar altar call coming and and they like um prayed I give my life to Jesus Christ and stuff like that. And I was like, but I didn't, I was like, uh, I'm sure some people were really genuine. There went several people in front of that, um, doing that altar call, altar call and stuff like that. But I'm hoping this church, this river church doesn't come to Huvinka. I'm hoping they're not trying to start some, some church here. They were giving out some flyers for their Bible school, and I was like, "Yeah, I wouldn't go to that Bible school." <laughs> and uh, anyway, but while I was talking to this Pakistani lady, her name was Anita, by the way, and uh, pray for her that she will find the truth, that she will seek the truth, and love Jesus out of out of her like full of full heart, and come out of this uh, this church and i told her about my church a little bit and i invited if she's ever interested to come she's more than more than welcome to come visit uh since she was also living in helsinki and my church in, is in helsinki so anyway um that's what i was wanting to talk about um uh, it's quite a long video already seven minutes and uh but um i i felt i needed to tell that there's uh, these uh, churches, they, they say that they had three different groups going to different cities, preaching the, their 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 own Jesus, not the Bi Jesus of the Bible. They're not preaching him. Uh, and they, they have been doing this preaching in other cities and they're going all over, the fin all over Finland. So, oh, Heavenly Father, I'm asking, just pray for Finland, pray for that this, this um, false teaching that it wouldn't go forth that that the people would wake up those people who that because they are they're doing more evangelism than most normal christians these false teachers teachings these false churches uh who are teaching wrong about jesus they have they are evangelizing more christians wake up it's time to preach the gospel it's time to preach the gospel and i'm i'm hoping right now like for jesus Give us, give us harvest, like real, real uh, believers turning, coming to Jesus Christ, and those who have been lost, that they will come back to the true gospel, not this false gospel. And I hope that these churches, they, they are not coming to Huvinka in this city while I'm, while I'm, where I'm living, that they wouldn't start a church here. I hope not. God protect us, our cities, from false teachings. Anyway, so this is what I was wanting to talk and uh, remember to discern uh, what is being taught and what is talked about and, and spoken. And I was like, this was, all, this was also educative to me that can I discern what are they really talking about? And I felt kind of like, I didn't feel like awful, like, like really awful feeling while I, while I was listening. But I was like, this is not quite what... The preaching should be about where's the blood where's the atonement where's the repentance and that was missing so keep an eye on those things when you're discerning someone's preaching so anyway um this is the video of this uh, uh of this message uh what ha just happened and uh hope you stay safe uh you know amongst all these things that's been happening in the world but um jesus christ is our lord 
he's our savior he's our healer he's he's uh, the light of the world true light of the world and uh, put your trust in him uh, and follow him with all your heart and he will show you the way and where to go um, I might be doing another video after this um, I don't know we'll see but we'll see you in the next video Lord willing God bless you bye